Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kistjen and today I'm going to show you how I do my everyday face routine. Now that's going to include foundation, concealer, you know, bronzing. We will go over all of that in this video, so stay tuned to see how I did this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by priming my face. So I like to shop a lot at those little hood rat stores, like in the mall, like I just love them. And they have like a makeup section, so I wanted to test out one of the products they had there and I tried it out a few months ago. This is the City Color Primer. It's a little spray and it's supposed to keep you oil free and I have a like, combination skin so I get real oily in my nose and then like you know, my basically my T-zone like every other bitch who's combination. It actually works pretty good. This was like five dollars so just you know take a step back here and just this kind of comes out a little crazy like I wish it had more of a softer mist but you know it was five dollars. We work with what we got. You just gotta let it dry for a second. And just so you know, since I have this like oily kind of type of skin, what I like to do before I start doing my makeup is I like to wash my face and make sure that, you know, any oils that have come through before I've done my makeup is, you know, it's cleaned out and ready to go. So next we'll be ready for the foundation. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I am in shade 120, which is the classic ivory shade. This is probably one of my favorite drugstore foundations. It's only like $5 or, you know, give or take, depending on where you go. It leaves me such a nice finish. The only thing I don't like about it, is it's not very long lasting. Like it probably goes a good six hours before I kind of start to break up. That also could be because I do live here in Arizona where we get real sweaty and hot. So it's just like, you know, that's just wearing it away. I'm gonna use my Real Technique Beauty Blender. This is also like five bucks. It, these work really great. They get really soft and they blend the makeup around real nicely. So this is like a medium coverage. It's, you know, it's buildable. You can get a little more out of it. All right, after I get my foundation laid out and ready to go, the next step I'm gonna do is go ahead and conceal my face. I am using another Maybelline product. This is their the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in shade Fair. This is also like $5. And I just think it works so good. I only like to conceal here underneath my eyes. A lot of people will do like, you know, the little warrior marks you got right here on your forehead, down your nose, and on your chin. I have a problem with like the foundation breaking up after a long time of wear. And so when it's just so hot, just I feel like all this extra layer of stuff on my face, it just, it makes it just not look good. And, and that's for me. I'm just gonna go back in with my Real Technique Beauty Blender and just buff it out there. And these two products together, obviously they're the same brand, but they work just, you know, just beautifully. When I'm blending out the concealer, I like to just take a little bit of the sponge and just go over, leaf, over my eyelids just to kind of, you know, start to prime them. The next thing that we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and set our face. The brush I use to set my face is by Real Technique as well. Um, this came with a little trio. This is the little trio this came in. So this is for concealing or setting your face. This one's like for bronzing, and then this one's for highlight. It was like 15 bucks, they work really awesome. The powder that I like to use to set my face is by CoverGirl. It's just a translucent loose powder, and it just comes in this little thing here. This is in the shade Translucent Fair, so I just like to, you know, tap him in there. Since it's a loose powder, it kind of like has some fallout, so sometimes I just like to, you know, hold it right there to catch any fallout. So we're just gonna set underneath the eyes. And I really, like to kind of go ham with this, like I just like put it on there. I just want a ton of this underneath my eyes and all over my face because I do blend it out to the rest of my face but I don't set it on every part of my face. This part right here is really important for me because this is where, this is the main spot where my foundation starts to break up and it, I just get real oily. Yeah, this part gets a little messy sometimes, but whatever, we can clean up. So once I just have that everywhere, I've placed it everywhere that I want it, I like to let it just chill for like a few minutes and like, I guess you, the term is called baking. So to dust this powder away from my face, I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush. This is by Moda. 
I got this in my BoxyCharm, and it's a pointed blush brush, but it's just so big, the head is so big that I just like to use it to dust off the powder off my face. So I just kind of like to blend it like down right here into the spaces that I didn't put place the powder, and just move it around everywhere all over my face so the whole thing is set, and then we're good to go when we start to bronze our face and contour, and it's just a nice soft base. So what I do before I move on is I like to go ahead and spray some setting spray on my face. I'm gonna use the Hard Candy Long Lasting Setting Spray. I bought this at the drugstore. I actually think it was Walmart. It was like eight bucks. It works really good. I've sprayed my face with setting spray, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I've actually picked this up, this little technique off another YouTuber, Laura Lee. So I just like to tap all that into my face and then the, the finish that you have on your skin is just so nice and you're just like ready to go on to the next step after you do this. And this just takes away like that very like powdery feel to your face and it just feels more natural. So normally after that step, what I would go ahead and do in my normal makeup routine is just go ahead and do my eyebrows. I work on my eyes, I do like eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara, and then I move on to my cheeks. But since this is a face routine, I'm just gonna go ahead and dive right into doing my bronzing and contour and all that. Uh, I already have a video on how to do my eyebrows. You can look through my videos and see it there. Let's just go ahead and start to bronze the skin. So I did say that I um, this was one of the bronzing brushes that came in that Real Technique set. Lately, I've kind of liked this other bronzing brush that I have. This one is by Elf. It's this one. And this is one of the cheaper brushes too. I think it's like the dollar one, but I don't know, I just really like it. We are gonna use Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is it. And it comes with, it comes with this little thing. I don't even know, like, I've never used that. I just, I didn't even open it up barely, but it comes with this little, like flimsy thing, it's I don't, like who's gonna bronze their face with this? Like I, don't, I feel like this is not gonna do anything for you. Let's check that. Bye Felicia. So I'm just gonna dip into my bronzer here and then we're just gonna, you know, place it over here and just, we can go lightly to get started very lightly there. And then I just bronze over here on the other side, cheekbone area. I like to bronze right here, like under my jawline make it look like I don't have such a fat, chubby face. And then also we're gonna, you know, bronze right here in our hairline. All right, there we go. Nice little bronzy base. And I really like to give my cheeks a little more definition. So what I do is I go in and um, I kinda just give myself more of a contoured look. I use a darker bronzing powder. And to give myself a little more definitions here in my cheeks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little brush by e.l.f. It is actually their concealer brush, but I just like it for that little area. This old Tarte palette, I'm going to use that. It has just a darker brown color. I don't really want to show it because it's embarrassing. But I'm just going to dip into there and then just, you know, go right here, right under your cheekbone and just define the, the contour a little more. And I promise, guys, I'm totally gonna buy a new contour palette soon. I guess I'll just show you. This, it's unacceptable, it's old. After we have that already going, we're gonna go ahead and do our blush. I'm gonna use this Pacifica Blush Duo. I got this in my BoxyCharm. What I really like to do is I like to mix the two, so I usually just tap into both. The brush that I'm using for blush is by e.l.f. and I think this was like $3 and I love it. You know, tap like this, like that, and then I go on the other side and tap into there. You know, give myself a little smile and then I hit that blush on my cheeks. What I like to do after, just to make sure everything is clean and seamless, um, this little palette has like a nudish color there. So I just go in with a brush and I just, you know, dust it around and make sure that it's all good. The final, well I guess it's not the final step, but we are almost there, uh, would be highlight. I love highlighting, it's like one of my favorite parts of it. It's like highlighting and lipstick are my favorite steps of makeup. To highlight today, I'm actually gonna go in with two different highlighters because, I don't know, I just like to mix them. And they're both gonna be wet and wild highlights. The wet and high, sorry, 
The Wet n Wild highlights are so good and they're only $5. That is like crazy. This highlight is called Precious Petals. Just go ahead and you know tap into that and then you know highlight my cheek area over here. I'm gonna add a different highlight on top of that. It is also by Wet n Wild. It is called The Sweetest Bling. And look how cute it is with the little heart in the center. We're highlighted, we're glowing, we're looking good. So then after that, all you gotta do is just set your face again, so. And there you have it, that is how I do the base of my face. That is just like my pretty much everyday routine. You know, the products switch out a little bit, but that is how it goes, so. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next one. See ya, bye.